What's up you guys? This is Minister Jones. I am back for our encouragement one-on-one -on -one video post. For the next two video posts, I'm going to do a two-part um, series on minding your own business. This is very important for the believer because if we're focused and our mind, because the word minding means having our mind set on. So we have our mind set on what someone else is doing, what someone else has, and what someone else's life consists of. We're missing what God is trying to teach us and what God is trying to show us because we have our mind set on someone else's business. And Jesus is saying, mind your own business. Mind what, what I have, you know, for you to do or the point that I have you in your life. That's what you should be focused on. Not what this person has going on and what that person has going on because that's going to lead you in a very dry place and it could lead you to bondage. So we want to be mindful of that and we also want to be mindful of um, who we share this information to. Because chances are, if we're minding someone else's business, then we go tell somebody else that loves minding other people's business. And it's just a cycle of the bad things being fed to each other's minds, you know, and that goes lower and lower. And that gives the enemy an entryway to come in and tear some stuff up. So we want to be mindful of that and take heed to this lesson because Jesus is letting us know the believers, the followers, us that are called, um, that are going to have to go through some trials and some tribulations for him. Not to look at the next person and judge off of their life, you know, take from their life and judge your own life. And it makes you envious and jealous, you know, of those people because you're looking in on what they have going on. And you're missing an entire point because just looking in on somebody's life doesn't mean you have the full story. And that's why Jesus is letting us know, mind your own business. And the word mind means having your mindset on. God wants us to have our mindset on our own business, not the next person's business. So let's get into the lesson. Don't forget, I'm going to do a part one um, in this one. And the next one I will do will be a part two on minding your business. So we're going to keep going um, in this. But don't forget about the jealousy. You know, um, jealousy, envy, and mentally um, comparing ourselves and our circumstances with others that are in the same dry places. You got to watch who you share information with and watch who you surround yourself with. Surround yourself with people that are going to put you in your place or that are going to check you. You know, girl, you need to get your stuff together. You know, it's, it's not right for us to be sitting up talking about this and talking about what about your life and where you are. And you got other stuff to be focused on. So make sure that the people that you are surrounded by are people that actually want to see you go up and not down. Um, great example of what I really mean is the book of John, chapter 21, verses 21 through 22. And it says, when Peter saw him, which was John, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about this man? Jesus said to him, if I want him to stay, in other words, if I want him to survive and live till I come, what, what is that to you? Jesus is telling him, that's not your business. You know, you need to mind your own business. Jesus will say, what concern is it of, you, of yours? You follow me. You know, and Jesus, <clears throat> Jesus and Peter were walking, um, and Jesus was telling Peter about the things that were coming up that he would have to endure on Jesus' behalf. You know, and Peter looked back and seen John, and he like, okay, Jesus, you telling me I gotta go through all this stuff? What about him? You gotta watch people because some some people tend to want to take you down when they're in the hot water. They're in the hot water and they're in trouble for what they've done. They want to try to take everybody else down around them. So you want to be watchful, uh, watchful again of the company um, that you keep. And Jesus just politely told Peter, just mind your business. You follow me. You worry about what I'm telling you right now. That has nothing to do with this man. This conversation has everything to do with me and you. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep going part two. 
um, look out for jealousy and envy. And we're going to look up these words and they both are actually synonymous. So they kind of mean the same thing, only a little bit different. Jealous means feeling or showing envy of someone or their achievements and advantages. That is, that's what we do though. Those are things that we look at. Other words for jealous are envious, resentful, grudging, bitter, bitter or something else, spiteful, that's evil, selfish, and greedy. And then envy, a feeling of unhappiness over another's good fortune together with a desire to have the same good fortune envy jealousy and some words for envy uh, other words for envy are want jealousy and desire and none of that is good that is not on um, what god wants for us he doesn't want us to be so focused and have our mindset on what somebody else has and their good fortunes and you know their advantages and their achievements that it throws us off our track of where he has us and where he's trying to get us to next you know we miss out on a lot of blessings paying attention to what someone else is someone else has because you'll look at what someone else has and you will want what they have you'll want their glory but you will not want their story and everybody's journey is for them you may not even be able to endure as much as the next person has endured so be grateful for your journey for everything that you have been through because there's always someone who has been through a way a lot more way more than you have so keep that in mind um, on your journey proverbs 14 and 30 says a calm and undisturbed mind and heart are the life and health of the body but envy jealousy and wrath are like rottenness of bones Okay, you see how bad that is? I'm going to read that one more time. I want you to let it resonate a little bit. A calm and undisturbed mind. Both. They're calm. The mind is calm and is an uh, undisturbed mind. And heart are the life and health of the body. So they both have to be calm and undisturbed. That's peace. That is peace, and peace can only be given by the Holy Spirit. Um, and it's health of the body, says Proverbs 14 and 30. But envy, jealousy, and wrath are like rottenness of the bones. You see the opposite of when your mind is at peace and when your mind is all over the place. You got envy, jealousy, wrath. Um, and it's tearing you up on the inside and you got to remember that everything begins in your mind and once it gets here it gets here you know in your heart and then you begin to react you know off of those things so all of it plays in a cycle that's why you want to that's what Jesus is telling us we got to mind our own business to prevent those things from happening things that we'll regret later you know what I'm saying um if it will cause a person to behave in the ways of being heartless, rough, rough and ready. That means you're not you're not really thinking it out. You're just reacting, you know, to it. And brutal and vicious. You know, jealousy and envy can cause people to lose their lives. You know, and it has and it still is today. And that's what Jesus is telling us. It doesn't have to be that way. If you mind your own business, if you keep your mindset, which is what mind means, minding means, on your own business. Jesus said, worry about, worry about where I have you. Worry about your life. Worry about what's in front of you and where I need you to go first. So believers, if you're not moving forward in your life because you're comparing yourself, especially in ministry, to the person um, that you envy or are jealous of, you're comparing your life to them, where Jesus has them, where they are in their walk, the gifts that they have, how strong they are. And this, first of all, there is no competition in kingdom building anyway. You know, God gives us all gifts and they're not really ours, they're his anyway. You know, so that's what, that's another big thing too. 
There's no competition in kingdom building at all. You shouldn't be comparing your gifts to someone else's gifts or they can do this better than me. They can speak in tongues. God don't want any of that going on. You know, God is not a God of confusion, of arguments, of mess. But God is letting us know if you mind your own business, keep your mindset on your own self, your own life, your own priorities, your own call, you'll be just fine. You know, that's what he's letting us know. And then let's go back. <clears throat> and everybody remembers the story of Joseph. Now, jo Joseph's brothers, <clears throat> excuse me, envied him because his father loves him more, you know, than he loved the other uh, boys. So he had more favor with his father. And they um, sold him into slavery and stuff like that. So actually, Joseph went through a lot of stuff. But the point here is that his family sold him out. You know, because of how much favor he had with their father. He was like the favorite child. So the brothers envied him. They had so much envy and jealousy, you know, of Joseph that they sold him into slavery. Their own brother. So if you're having problems in your family, you know, with jealousy and envy going on, actually, let me read my note. So if there is someone in your family who seems to have more favor than you, don't hate them don't hate them their journey is for them and your journey is for you you have to stay focused you have to stay focused you have to trust God do what he asks you to do believe him for favor and you'll end up just like Joseph Joseph was he the same brothers that sold him into slavery God fixed it where those same brothers had to come back around when Joseph had the power. You know, Joseph was the king. You know, he was under the king. He had a lot of power. Joseph had a lot of power. Back then, he was a ruler. And he had the opportunity to do his brothers like they did him. But instead, he helped them. So you never know how God will work a thing out. So... Stay encouraged on your journey. We all want to be like Joseph. You know, we want to be extremely blessed because that's what Joseph was. But Joseph had to go through storm after storm after storm after storm in order to get there. So stay encouraged on your journey and don't look to the left. You know, don't look to the right. Look straight ahead in Jesus' name. This is Minister Jones and I'm out.